by the connection between the presidency of the United States and the governorship of the states, just about anybody in authority of a governmental body or a jurisdiction can invoke martial law. What does martial law mean? The suspension of all your rights. Okay? And that's kind of interesting, but we'll, we'll talk about that some other time. So, as devil's advocate, I'm going to say the economy is going to get bad, people are going to lose their houses, uh, there's going to be tremendous repercussions from the drug trade, we will be uh, under uh, tremendous pressure from foreign uh, terrorists, etc., etc. The American government will become absolutely incompetent, will turn to fear instead of reason, and will try to control us as we go out and start asking hard and difficult questions of our government, like, what are you guys doing? Okay? And to shut us up, they will invoke martial law. They'll come up with all kinds of reasons to say, okay, we're going to do this. Okay? Does it happen? Yeah, it happened in Canada, I think, in 1970, when they had their crisis in 1970. Does it happen here? Yeah, you know, hurricanes and stuff like that, you know, big disasters, and riots, uh, you know, the late 60s when uh, any one time we had a dozen American cities on fire. Um, uh, you know, there, there was the invocation of martial law. Now, what that basically does is gives law to the person holding the gun as an agent of the United States government. So they can look at you and say, yep, bang, you're dead. That's what they can do. they got the right to do it. It's in the Constitution. I'm not sure. I think it's in the first article, later on the first article of the Constitution, not the amendment, the article, Article 1. Okay. Now, what do you do when you're under martial law? Behave yourself or they're going to shoot you. Okay? When the martial law comes down, maybe it's the last straw. You're on the edge. Okay, do what you're told. Okay, you have no rights. Do what you're told and pray for another day to come to get you out of this mess.